Uh, the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Williams, for five minutes. Mr. Speaker, last November, the American people spoke loud and clear about wanting real change in Washington. The American people want Washington to work for them. No more empty promises, no more talk. Mr. Speaker, the American people want their government to act, and Congress's time to act is now. I come here today to offer a solution to an issue that has been discussed but not truly acted on for decades. Time and time again, from Congress to Congress, lawmakers come down to this floor to talk about the need for As a current small business owner for all of my working life, I understand what is killing small businesses firsthand. Since I came to, uh, to Congress, I have been outspoken on the need to reform our tax code, and I have a proposal to make it happen. My tax reform plan will simplify our tax code. It will give job creators the tools they need to succeed and empower America's greatest asset, the American worker. My tax reform plan will do exactly what its name says it will do, jumpstart America. Today, the Internal Revenue Code is often called complicated, uncompetitive, and unfair, and rightfully so. According to the Tax Foundation, federal tax laws and regulations have grown to more than 10 million words in length. Imagine how much easier tax season would be for all of us if we shrunk our individual income tax thresholds to two brackets. What if our tax code actually put American taxpayers first? In other words, treated us like a customer. The United States has the highest corporate tax rate in the free world. Sure, deductions, exclusions, and tax credits occasionally lower that rate. But these add further to the tax code's complexity, and they allow carve-outs for special interests. To those who believe our corporate tax rate is okay the way it is, I ask you to consider why American companies are moving their headquarters overseas. In order to incentivize these companies to return their investments in expansion and employment back home in America, my plan will implement a permanent tax to allow repatriation of funds at 5%. And while the corporate tax rate is putting the United States at a disadvantage in the global economy, which we all live, the most unfair tax facing many Americans is the inheritance tax. The death tax, it is more commonly referred to, is a form of double taxation that can take a generation's worth of sweat and equity and hard work and destroy it if a family business, for example, is passed down to the next generation. That is what nearly happened to me after the death of my parents. Fortunately for me, I was able to gather resources to keep my father's business afloat. Many of my friends have not been so lucky. We cannot force owners and operators to sell off parts of a business just so the federal government can collect a few extra dollars equal to less than 1% of federal revenue, especially considering our government is running a huge deficit and a $20 trillion national debt. I would argue that the private sector is much better steward of budgeting and investing and creating return on investment than the federal government. That is why Jumpstart America repealed the death tax once and for all. These are a few of the notable reforms of Jumpstart America that I talk about on the road in Texas and nationwide. Jumpstart America has gained the support of Americans for tax reform and former Congressional Budget Office Director Douglas Holtz Eakin. It was called, quote, a good plan by the Cato Institute. As a small business owner, I can tell you my plan will put people back to work, encourage business and individuals to spend money they didn't have before, and grow the economy. It's a thing called the American dream. While Jumpstart America is a small business perspective on tax reform, it will benefit every American individually and our nation as a whole. Mr. Speaker, I ask my colleagues, especially the newer members, to familiarize themselves with my plan as we work to implement an aggressive pro-growth agenda under new leadership on the other end of Pennsylvania Avenue. In God we trust.